Bomba! Bomba! The Kenya National Union of Teachers maintain that no teacher will be allowed in class next month if no tangible benefit is put forward by their employer, the Teacher Service Commission. They claim that even after government proposed a 50 to 60 percent salary increment for teachers, nothing has been put on the table. The teachers are demanding a 300 percent pay rise. Let us advise our members not to overspend during Christmas. Spare for the long haul. We advise the parents to prepare for a budget and activities to keep their children at home for a longer period. NAT has a list of 37 demands listed in the CBA that they want the government to fulfill. Key among them, 300% salary increment, revision of housing, commuter and responsibility allowances, creation of two new job groups, S&T, and a new scheme of services for masters and PhD holders. According to the National Executive Council, teachers are also demanding for a one-off recruitment of 40,000 teachers in the next financial year and 20,000 annually in the subsequent years and for immediate promotion of cadre grades P1 to job group L. We must justify why we are asking for 300%. And they should justify why they can't give us 300%. And they give us what they are giving. But so far they have not, they withdrew the only document that had been put on the table. And there is cross confusion across the government. Cross confusion. And this is going to cost. They also want the Kenya National Examination Council to pay examiners immediately after marking exam papers, improve accommodation for examiners, pay center organizers, and KCSE results to be released in time so that candidates can utilize their result slips to access colleges for further studies without undue delays. The NEC demands prompt payment of examiners. Two, that accommodation be improved for examiners who are residents in the various marking centers across the country. Thank you. Nata's father opposed plans to have education devolved. <laughs> now, meanwhile, the union witnessed the swearing in of the assistant national treasurer, John Matiangi, who was elected to replace Richard Kabagendi, who attained the compulsory retirement age for all union employees. After holding 26 meetings with the government, teachers across the country have said enough is enough and have decided to go on strike come January 2015. Now the national strike by teachers will not only affect learning, but it will also affect the selection of form ones who are expected to report to school in February 2015. For Abro Africa TV in Kasarani Stadium, in Nairobi, I'm Brenda Zeda.